If you're looking for the best dumbbell exercises for people over the age of 50, in today's video I'm going to show you what they are and how you can do them safely at home or in the gym. If you don't know who I am, my name is Will Harlow and I'm the over 50s specialist physio here at HT Physio in Farnham and today I'm going to be giving you the five best dumbbell exercises for people over the age of 50. Now dumbbell exercises are brilliant ways to build strength, they'll help you strengthen your muscles and your bones. I recommend almost everyone over the age of 50 has some kind of resistance training routine. Most people start with machines, but as you get stronger, dumbbells are certainly the way to go. And the reason I like dumbbells is because they're something we call free weights, which means they're not attached to anything, which means that when you're moving them, it's not only the major muscle groups that are working, but also the stabilizing muscle groups as well, which you don't really get on the machines. So that being said, let's have a look at some of the best exercises that you can use dumbbells to do. These aren't gonna be suitable for everyone. This is just general information only, not designed to fix any specific condition. Make sure you get checked out before you start any new dumbbell routine. And if they're painful, just leave them alone. So let's have a look at some of the best exercises you can use dumbbells for. So the first one is called the goblet squat. And this is a fantastic exercise for building strength in your glutes, in your quads, and also in your back and core as well. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna select a dumbbell with probably a, a reasonable weight. So I'm gonna use the full stack on this one, which is only 12 kilos, but this is a good weight to demonstrate the exercise. And we're gonna hold it with our hands like this. You can see I'm holding just one side of the dumbbell and the dumbbell close to my chest like that. I'm gonna demonstrate the exercise from a few different angles. You want feet about shoulder width apart, a good posture, and you're gonna sit back as if you're trying to sit on a chair, keeping your back straight. You're gonna go as low as you feel you can and then bring yourself back up like this. Okay, I'll show you again. So you're gonna sit back like this, push your hips out, bend your knees, go as low as you feel you can, and then come back up. Now this is safe for my back because you can see my back's not bending. My back is straight as I go down. It's my hips and my knees that are doing the bending. So one of the common mistakes people make on this exercise is they start to round their back and they drop forward like this, which is not a safe movement. We wanna keep the back like this, stick the hips out as if you're sitting on a chair, and then sink down. Now you don't need to go down as far as I am. If you feel you can only go to there, that's fine. But what we want to do is just take you to a point where you feel the muscles in your legs working. If you can go down deeper, that's great. And keep going until you get a working ache in your thighs and in your glutes. You wanna try and do at least three sets of that exercise each time you do this. And I'd recommend as a great starting point this whole routine should be done about three times per week. The second dumbbell exercise I've got for you is called the Romanian deadlift, or the RDL for short. And this is a great exercise for strengthening your glutes, your hamstrings, which are the muscles at the back of the thigh, and also your lower back. So it's basically working the muscles on the opposite side of the leg to the exercise we've just done. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take two dumbbells now. We're gonna use lighter dumbbells to begin with because the technique in this exercise is crucial. So I'm only gonna take four and a half kilos in each hand like this. You might just wanna start off with one or two kilos and you're gonna hold the dumbbells in front of your body resting against your thighs. Now what we're gonna do is keep a good posture. We want a very slight bend in the knees, probably about a five, 10 degree angle. And then all we're gonna do is we're gonna start by keeping our back straight and sticking the hips out behind us as we let the dumbbells go down to about knee height. Now you're gonna only go as far as you can until you start to feel a stretch in your hamstrings. So I can feel the stretch in my hamstrings there, and then we're gonna bring ourselves back up and squeeze the buttocks at the top. Simple as that, so we're not really looking to get all the way down to the floor. You wanna keep that strict 10 degree bend in the knees and then stick the hips out. I feel the stretch there and then I'm gonna come back up. So again, a common mistake in this is people rounding their backs. We wanna keep that back nice and straight. You can see that it's actually my hips that are moving, not my back, my back stays straight. And we're only going to the point where we feel a stretch in the hamstrings. Now the reason this works, the hamstrings, is because as we go down, the hamstrings are getting longer 
and then when we get to here and we start to come back up, the hamstrings contract to pull the hips back in. Now the other thing that's contracting is obviously your, your glutes, so the muscles in your hips which do this, and also your lower back is working to stabilize the movement. Now you can notice I'm keeping the dumbbells very tightly to my legs, okay, so they're sliding down the front of my leg. And again, we do not need a heavy weight for this movement. We just want to take it to about 10 repetitions in a row. Again, you're gonna do three sets with about a minute's rest in between, one to two minutes would be good, just until you start to feel that working ache in the hamstrings, in the buttocks, and in the back. If this starts to trigger things like back pain or sciatica, just stop this exercise. But if you're doing it correctly, it should be a safe exercise for most people. So the next great dumbbell exercise for people over 50s is the dumbbell row. And I love this exercise because it works the posterior part of the whole upper body. So it will work your lats, it will work your rhomboids, which live between the shoulder blades, and it will also work your arms and your grip as well. It's a great exercise for people with access to a dumbbell, and all you need to make this work is something else to rest the opposite hand on. So I'll show you how the exercise works. I'm gonna rest my hand on the back of this chair, and the leg on the side that's going to be worked is gonna go backwards. Now the dumbbell is on the floor like this, so I'm just gonna dip down and pick up the dumbbell, and my starting position is like this. So I'm putting a bit of weight through my hand, a bit of weight through this front leg, and a bit of weight through the back leg as well. So I should be like a tripod, and I'm quite well balanced. Now you wanna keep your neck relaxed, and the movement is this. So you're gonna pull your dumbbell up until it reaches your body by driving your elbow back. Now on the way back down, you want to allow the arm to relax, so your shoulder blade starts to split apart from the other one. So that's your end position. So up, contract, and then relax and finish. Up, contract, relax, and finish. Again, I'm keeping my back straight. My neck is relaxed. The only thing that's moving is my arm and my shoulder blade. And my shoulder blade's moving because my back muscles are contracting to pull it in to allow me to drive my elbow up. Now what we're looking for when we do this exercise is a working ache, both in the back on the left hand side on my body, and also at the front of the arm, so the bicep as well. So that's how we do a set of those. Let's swap over and do the other side. So what we do is use the opposite hand, the opposite leg comes forward, this one comes back. Come down and grab the dumbbell like this, keep a good posture, drive up, contract, and relax. Again, my back is straight, so I'm not putting stress on my back. The only thing that's working here is my upper back. And then up, hold, and relax. And I like this little squeeze at the top, so up, one, two, and down, because that really helps you to connect with the correct muscles as you do the exercise. So again, we wanna do about 10 on each side would be a good place to start. You can work in other rep ranges. You can do fives, or you can go up to 15, 20, but 10 is a great place for most people to begin and do three sets on each arm for best results. The next dumbbell exercise I've got for you is the seated shoulder press. And I love this exercise because it improves strength in your deltoids, which are the muscles that you can see on your shoulders. And it also strengthens the rotator cuff, which are the small muscles inside the shoulder that attach to the joint. It also improves strength of the triceps, which are the muscles at the back of the arm too. So for this exercise to work, you need two dumbbells. They probably don't wanna to be too heavy to begin with if you've never done this before, and you're gonna start by resting them on your knees like this. Now what we need to do is we need to get the dumbbells both up like this, and this can be quite a difficult movement for many people. It's good to have someone to help you get them up if you're not that comfortable with it. What I sometimes do if I'm doing this in the gym is just use my leg to help me boost it up but we wanna to get to this position where we're resting the dumbbell here. So start off light and only do this exercise if it's comfortable. But once we're in this position, what we want to do is keep our neck relaxed, keep a good posture, and then push up and meet the dumbbells at the top like this. And then very slowly put that movement into reverse, bringing the dumbbells back down just to touch but not rest on your shoulder. So just touch the shoulder, then we go back up again, touch them at the top, and then slowly back down. Now you can see I'm having to use my tummy muscles 
to stabilize my back and core because I'm not using anything at my back. You can use a bench where you can lean back against it like this, but this is good obviously if you wanna push heavier weights, but if you wanna get core strength as well, it is quite good to do the exercise with nothing at your back. So depending on what uh, machines and what benches you have at the gym, you can choose what you do, but just doing this exercise with a free back is a good way to do it. So you're gonna work on that exercise, probably repeating again about 10 repetitions in a row, have a break, do three sets with about one to two minutes rest in between, and you should find that your shoulders at the end feel like they're a bit fatigued, and that's a great sign that you've started to uh, improve the strength in those areas. And the final dumbbell exercise I'm gonna show you today is called the lateral raise. And this is a fantastic exercise for people who want, again, stronger shoulders and a stronger rotator cuff as well. It's just a brilliant all-round shoulder exercise for people who want uh, to maintain shoulder health. So with this one, you definitely don't need heavy dumbbells. So I'm gonna use the four kilo dumbbells here. If you're only starting out, you might just wanna use ones or 0.5 kilos. So all you're gonna do is you're gonna sit on the edge of a chair and you're gonna have your dumbbells resting next to you with your uh, thumbs facing forwards as you hold them. And the exercise is quite simple. You keep a good posture, you keep your arms straight, and then you're gonna lift the dumbbells out to the sides just to shoulder height, hold for a second, and then slowly come back down. So again, we're gonna go out to the side, hold, and then slowly back down. And you should feel the area on the outer shoulder working to have to abduct the arm like this. So you come out, hold, and then back down. And with this exercise, rather than doing 10 repetitions, I quite like to go up to higher reps. So you might go up to 12, 15, maybe 20 repetitions. And by the end of it, you can feel a really nice burn on the outer shoulders. Pop the dumbbells down after you finish the set, pause for one to two minutes, and then repeat, and try and get to the same number. You might not be able to get quite so many reps before it gets tired, but that's a great sign that you're working to the point of fatigue, and therefore you should improve over time. So those are some of the best dumbbell exercises for people over the age of 50. I hope you found this video useful. If you have, please do drop a comment below and let me know what you thought of it. And if you want to get more from me, you can pick up a copy of my book. It's called Thriving Beyond 50 and you can find it on Amazon using the link below. It's got loads more exercises and tips and strategies to help you maintain your health in your 50s and beyond. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. I appreciate your time and I'll speak to you on the next video.